So in my last video, I talked about the fact that Starfield is a terribly, terribly optimized game. Even though Todd Howard himself, the CEO of Bethesda said, We did, it's running great. You may need to upgrade your PC for this game. <sighs> Today, we're gonna show you how to really optimize it, and theoretically. Take your work and gaming experience to the next level with the ViewSonic XG340C 2K Ultra Wide High End Display. The XG340C 2K 34 inch 100 Hz Ultra Wide Monitor features HDMI 2.1, AMD FreeSync Premium Pro, a 1000R curved screen, VESA Display HDR 400 and 1 millisecond response time for the ultimate immersive gaming experience. And take control of multiple devices with KVM support while also taking full control of your display via the Elite Display Controller. To see the full list of specs and features, follow the sponsored link in the description below. Okay, so, but in that previous video, we did allude to the fact that we are aware of a custom DLSS mod that allows you to get DLSS as well as frame gen working for Starfield. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and call this out right now. AMD was like, we never said they couldn't put DLSS in the game. And obviously, we've got all the AMD stuff right here because there were some political decisions involved between Bethesda and AMD as much as neither side want to admit it. So, what initially happened is a private developer, um, game mod modder, hacker, whatever, created a DLSS update for the game and then stuck it behind a paywall, wanting people to pay for it. So another guy came around and said, F that noise, I'll do it for free. And he has done it for free. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go ahead and install the DLSS mod into the game, and we're gonna do some before and after. We're gonna test it in two different ways. One, I have a 40 series card, so this is a 4060 Ti, which I chose because it's a pretty, it's not a great performing card, but also it's not a 4080 or 4090, which just has raw horsepower to throw at the problem. So. Fourth gen, or not fourth gen, but 4000 series does also have frame gen capabilities. Now frame gen we know is gonna add a little bit of input lag versus something like you know frame gen off, but frame gen will also give us a pretty significant increase in performance. We're also gonna show some side-by-side -side comparisons. The image quality improvement between FSR2 and DLSS is night and day. Like the DLSS just looks a hundred times better than anything FSR was able to do. And I don't think that's necessarily indicative of FSR being terrible or FSR2 being terrible. I think it's just Bethesda did a terrible job at really making the game look good with FSR. Maybe there wasn't enough time, maybe it needs to bake longer, I don't know. But DLSS looks fantastic on this title. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a 30 series card on here to see what the performance increase looks like with uh, DLSS on or off, which we already know will be pretty much the same as FSR but more importantly, what the image quality looks like and what the performance looks like without frame gen. Because remember, frame gen only exists with DLSS, DLSS 3.0 cards and newer, which is essentially going to be 40 series and up. So before we can determine what the image quality improvement's gonna look like with DLSS, we've gotta take a look at it with FSR. I also am doing some performance metrics at the same time. So this is a 4060 Ti. We are sitting here inside uh, New Atlantis and I'm just gonna find a spot here that's kind of a good place to, here, I'll just stand in, on a lily pad. How's that? We'll be on a lily pad. Uh, looking out in the distance, that way, 41 FPS. Our settings are currently, we're in 1440p. We are gonna go to high settings, FSR off. V-Sync is off. There we go, 41 FPS, it's the same. So. There's that, but let's take a look at what the image quality is gonna look like now with FSR. So right now with it off, everything's pretty sharp. As soon as we turn on FSR, which remember does work on Nvidia cards and AMD cards and Intel cards, we'll turn up FSR two, sharpening, we'll leave it at the stock 70%. So at 75% resolution scale means we'll have a base resolution of 1080p that's gonna be upscaled to 1440 through FSR two. So there's that. You know, surprisingly, doesn't look that bad. We did gain some FPS, we went from 41 to 50. It really is actually pretty sharp. Obviously it took effect or we wouldn't have seen an FPS increase. So let's take a look at, uh, I don't know, let's drop this down to like 70%. I'm just curious where it starts to look bad. All right, now it's starting to look a little smudgy. We gained two FPS. And you see our card right now is Chilling. It's really cold, <laughs> to be honest. 42C, 99% usage, 2880 megahertz. I do have an overclock on the card. I'm really trying to push the card as far as hard as I can. Um, but as, if we start looking around, I turn around now. You can see as the character's walking away, everything's fuzzy. 
You got some twitching resolution or textures happening back there. Everything just kind of looks fuzzy. The texture resolution looks terrible. So I'm gonna go back up to 75%, which was the 1080p. See, everything got a little bit of sharpness back. So 1080 upscaling to 1440 is actually not terrible, but unfortunately the FPS is because of the fact that we are dealing with, uh, you know, without frame gen. Now frame gen is one of those things where you're kind of AI inserting frames in between other frames to uh, take workload off of the card. Now, when that happens, it creates a little bit of input lag. On a title like this, it's probably, it's really not that noticeable. Um, you wouldn't want to use it on something where Twitch response is very, very important. So now that we've got sort of our baseline to see sitting exactly right here, I'm saving my game right here, looking out over this pond, 42 FPS. What are you looking at? What are you, why are y'all looking at me like that? Okay, anyway. Let's now go ahead and install uh, the mod. I'll show you guys how to do it. It's actually pretty easy. Okay, so installing the mod is really easy. Uh, you just gotta go to Nexus Mods, and this one that we're using specifically is called Starfield Frame Generation, replacing FSR2 with DLSSG. So you hit download manual, and then it'll also tell you that you have to download the DLSS DLLs and the DLSS GDLL, obviously, because you kind of need those to run the mod. So once you have your version downloaded, open up the zip file. You're gonna open Steam and right click on Starfield, go to manage, browse local files, and then you wanna make sure it's in the folder with the Starfield app, Starfield executable in there. And then you just copy everything from that zip file into that folder, open the new streamline folder you just copied, and then that's where you're going to put your DLLs. So there's DLSS's DLL, lots of D's and L's, and then here's DLSSG.DLL. And now that those are in there, you're good to go. So now that I personally have installed the modification into the game, we can now see how it uh, actually performs. I'm most interested, honestly, in the frame gen. It's about more FPS. And to be honest, if Todd Howard wasn't so full of shit, we wouldn't have to go through all this. But we do, because there were backdoor deals made between AMD and Bethesda that nobody will admit to, but it's absolutely obvious. You saw how easily I installed it, right? So there you go, there's your, there's your proof that now we, as gamers, have to worry about what freaking politics are taking place between game studios, game developers, and manufacturers. It's more bullshit. Anyway, moving on. Loading simulator, okay. This is already significantly sharper. So I'm looking out exactly as I was. Look at our FPS. It's already up to 69. <laughs> We're getting really nice FPS here. Anyway, one thing I want to point out. If it is a 40 series graphics card with DLSS 3.0 and frame gen, frame gen is on by default. We can't actually turn it off unless we turn off DLSS. Now, if we look in the settings here, it's still called FSR. I want to point that out. Don't let this fool you. FSR now is DLSS. Now there is an XESS mod as well for uh, Intel graphics card users. So you could do something very similar or not using Intel graphics card, so I can't show you XESS right now, but XESS is something that uh, you can also get for your Intel systems. So if we go ahead and turn off, we should now get pretty much identical performance to what we were getting. Yeah, technically, it's actually a little worse. 35, 36 FPS. If I turn around over here where I was getting, there's the 41. So looking the other way was a little bit more intensive on the GPU. So there's exactly the 41 FPS. And then that's 36, 35-ish FPS looking that way. So now if I go back this, looking towards the trees where I was getting the 40, I love, the one thing I will give this game, it's extremely consistent. You go to the same spot, you look in the same direction, you get exactly the same FPS that you were getting the last time you were there. So we can at least do some pretty good AB comparison. So I'm now gonna go into uh, DLSS slash FSR. It's also 100% resolution scale, by the way. So really, we're still base resolution rendering 1440p. So what we're effectively getting is DLAA or deep learning anti-aliasing now, which is not just upscaling, but it's actually DLAA, just anti-aliasing. So not super sampled, if that makes sense. So from 41 to 62, 
And you know what I don't like though? I mean, there is still obviously like Jaggies. There's actually quite a bit of Jaggies happening on the ramp. It kind of has this like Borderlands 3 look to it now, where it's got almost what looks like outlining happening. Let's go ahead now and go into the settings and let's turn this down to zero. Now everything has sort of a softer look to it. So I think I would probably up, and you notice it doesn't affect FPS. Um, let's go, I don't know, 35%, sure. So our FPS is currently at 63. Actually, I think this looks pretty good right here. If I turn around, look this way. We're at 57 FPS where we were at 35. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn our resolution scale down now to 75%, which will get us back to 1080p base resolution, 1440p uh, super sampled resolution with frame gen enabled. There you go, you can see we're getting 68. I think that's actually where we were getting nice FPS was looking that way, I forget. But if we kind of move around now and look, as we look out in the distance, like the textures don't, I mean, it's obvious that it's being super sampled, but the textures are not, they're still pretty crisp. Like look at the flags, the flags look really, really good. Now I wanna see what kind of performance we're gonna get uh, with a 30 series card and also Obviously it's not gonna have frame gen. So as we change the upscaling, we're gonna get the DLSS performance, which is gonna be very, very similar to FSR2, uh, but we're not gonna get any of the benefits of frame gen. I just wanna point out though, there is just ever so slightly, I don't have the tools to measure input lag. It's there, it is noticeable. However, this since this is a story driven game, I don't, I don't find this distracting, but it does have just a slight kind of a wobble effect to it where it's noticeable that it's behind. So I have an RTX 3080 installed. Obviously it's gonna be faster than a, than a 4060 Ti, but again, we're looking for the before and after with the 3080, because that's the thing with Starfield, even like a 4090 was barely able to get like 70 FPS in New Atlantis in like 4K. So that should just tell you right there, the game is clearly not very well optimized, especially since it doesn't look even pretty enough to feel like it should be using that much GPU horsepower. Anyway, side rant. Um, let me go back to exactly where I saved. So here you go, 50 FPS with a 3080 at 1440p. 50 FPS in 1440p. Let that sink in. Yeah, Bethesda, more like worth, worst esta. You may need to upgrade your PC. <laughs> Moving on here. So the display, right now we are at 100% resolution scale. That's with DLAA on. I think we should point that out. Uh, okay, so if we go ahead and drop this down to 75%, we probably won't see much of a performance increase. I mean, we'll see some of an increase, but. So we gained 10 FPS and some coil wine. That was interesting. I mean, the game looks good. Kind of crazy. That shows you how, honestly, 40 series, as much as people really do hate it, frame gen is a nice feature to have when FPS really is suffering. Um, but the, the 3080 clearly is not suffering from any input lag for the obvious reasons. But it's really kind of crazy to me that a 3080 is getting 60 FPS, 1080p upscaled to 1440 using DLSS 2 which is technically, all, that, all that's different is DLSS 3 technically is, is frame gen. So that's terrible. It looks good, but that's terrible. What if I overclock this real quick? Like it's overclocked now slightly, but let's go ahead and push the clocks a little bit harder, shall we? So from 60 to 62. I mean, at least we got something. Anyway, at the very end of the day, we did gain a significant amount of performance and sharpness, to be honest, if you're running an NVIDIA graphics card by installing the DLSS mod that I showed you how easy it is to do, uh, which I absolutely did myself, no questions asked. It's free, it should have been in the game to begin with. You should, you should have choice. You should not be forced into any particular uh, path of tech, the game just crashed, probably because my overclock's a little aggressive, but anyway. You should not be forced into any sort of a pathway because of backdoor deals taking place. And NVIDIA is not, they're not free of guilt either. They do this absolutely all the time. And that's what part of my rant is. But if you're running Starfield and you got an NVIDIA graphics card, you owe it to yourself to at least install this mod. So anyway, there you go, guys. 
comments in the previous video were like, DLSS mod, DLSS mod, DLSS, in my live streams, DLSS mod. Well, there you go, DLSS mod. Maybe one of, the, one of these days, Starfield will actually put out a patch that's called the, it's a little less dog shit patch. All right, guys, thanks for watching. As always, we'll see you in the next one.